Water, we unconsciously use it every day to wash ourselves and the foods we eat. When we are born, our bodies are made of about 70% water. Hydration is key to a healthy lifestyle. Living in Chicago, we are lucky to have access to such a large body of fresh water. However, we are the exception. States like California and Texas are under severe drought warnings. Their overconsumption has dried up river tributaries and threatens the balance of the environment. I explored Loyola University's commitment to sustainable and equitable water practices. Nancy Landrum, a professor at Loyola, specializes in socially responsible sustainability practices. We have stormwater management program um, implemented across campus, so we can um, collect the water, the stormwater runoff, instead of sending it into the city sewer system, which not only saves the environment, but it gets the water back in its natural habitat. And I understand it also will help with uh, neighborhood flooding. Um, a lot of times after heavy rains, neighborhoods uh, near here have basements that get flooded and if we're helping keep some of that stormwater out of the sewage system and out of the uh, underground tunneling system, that'll help with the flooding. So some of our sidewalks use either permeable uh, surfaces, gravel purpose surfaces, or semi-permeable. So they're more like pavers with a lot of space in between the pavers and this allows the water to uh, go back into the ground and get absorbed into the ground naturally and stand that. Next, I looked at how students are addressing water issues on campus. One of the largest movements is sponsored by UNICEF. I met with their vice president. My name is Sophie Walters. I'm vice president of UNICEF here at Loyola University Chicago and I'm currently a junior. So every spring, um, Loyola, Loyola's UNICEF campus initiative focuses on the Tap Water Project, which basically is a way for UNICEF to raise money for water for children around the world by asking you to not use your phone, so not texting, not emailing, etc. So how it works is you go on the website, and all you do is you go on the website and you place your phone down, and every 15 minutes that you don't touch your phone, provides a child with clean water for a whole day, so. At UNICEF's recent open mic night fundraiser, students exhibited creative works while abstaining from their cell phones. We raised $494, which with $500, UNICEF can provide a village or a school with a water pump. I'm Lauren Hames, reporting from Loyola University of Chicago for Technology for Journalists.